Some more new introductions. Oh. Collius. We have seen a few Collius this year, have a we few. not, uh, Ellen? But these, part of Eki's Stained Glass Works collection, are really noteworthy, as are all the stained glass works, because the color is just really spectacular. This is eruption. As wild a pattern as I've ever seen. How would you describe that, Ellen? Uh, molten hot. Molten, wicked cool. Wicked cool. Molten, that was Wednesday, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's just amazing. It's, it's crazy. It's really cool, and the, and the leaf shape is really cool. Yeah. How about this one? Green Autry. And, and, and the name. Green Autry. I feel like I should ride in on a horse or something. Yeah, as in like Gene Autry. Could have been Green Hornet, but they went with the Autry. But that's that's nice. And, you know, it, it's not nearly as maybe as exciting as some of the others, but when you step back and look at the whole series, mm. it really adds a vivid punch of color to it. Now, come this way, quick. We've got more varieties to show oh. you. This is a, another significant it's introduction. This is Antirhinum, better known as Snapdragons. The Dragon series. Three colors, rosy, buttery and peachy. You know, it's funny, we've been talking about colors and what I found is when you can't describe a color, like if it's red uh, or, or orange, you just say it's kind of orangey. Orangey, it's, ready. It's ready, pinky, orangey. Well, they named it that way. <laughs> they must have been the, listening to you. The rosy color is kind of rosy. But key here, vegetative Snapdragon uh, series, three colors, upright, very durable, uh, very shippable, which was something you couldn't do with the hanging basket style of vegetative Snapdragons. And incredibly incredibly fragrant that's the uh, dragon series and then i have one more thing mm -hmm. we need to look at before it closes up yeah. this new osteospermum it's oh it started to close already but here's some nice open flowers this is crescendo light purple now it looks kind of ordinary on the surface but here's the deal this is not just an osteo it's an osteo dimorphotheca cross First time purple has ever brought over into, been brought over into the dimorphotheca side of things. And what that does is it brings the uh, heat resistance of dimorphotheca and the disease resistance of osteo into this category. So it, uh, it uh, should be a really good variety for uh, spring going into summer sales. That is osteosperm of crescendo light purple.